welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. If you are new to my channel, I offer video tutorials to help you on your journey of building an online business. This video will be in two parts. The first part will be a quick walkthrough of the Ultimate Member plugin installation and with less detail we will talk about the installation, the uh, dashboard settings, forms, user roles, and member directories. The second part of this will be more in detail of all of the options and features and I will also leave the link to the Ultimate Member Knowledge Base in the description to answer any of your questions. So, without further ado, let's get started you go to your WordPress and click Add New in your plugins. Add New. Here where you see keyword search plugins you you will type in ultimate member ultimate member user profile and membership plugin install now Activate. Ultimate Member needs to create several pages and it tells you the pages it's creating and you must not skip this part. Create Pages. general here you will see the pages the users username you can have user display name automatically redirect author page to their profile yes enable members directory yes use gravatar and require a strong password when user resets password only yes and save changes pages you have to save these changes these pages are created you just save your changes account password account tab yes and you can click on these circles with the question mark in here it just tells you enable or disable the password account tab in your account page privacy account tab yes notifications account tab yes delete account tab yes that means that you are able to delete your account tab. Account deletion custom text. Are you sure you, you want to delete your account? Now you can put any information that you want in here. Like for instance I could say sorry to see you go.
Add first and last name fields. Disable first and last name fields. Require first and last name. You can check this or uncheck it. Allow users to change email. Password is required. Yes. Allow users to hide their profiles from the directory. No. Require a strong password. Yes. Save your changes. And this is your uploads. Whoops. Uploads. Okay. Now here, you will determine the file size. This is in bytes. And what it will what it is is you've set a maximum file size. So they have this in there. You can put three hundred or six hundred. Cover photo, I'm going to put six hundred here. Cover photo maximum file size and they have nine hundred and we're just going to do um, 300 actually so this is a 400 by 300 pixels which is 120,000 pixels which is 65,171 bytes and then this is the the profile photo maximum size and the cover photo maximum size and I have these backwards this should be 125 so that would be double the size and then this one will be okay so there is a way you can figure it out and I will leave this information in the description now these are pixels so you can go with the profile photo thumbnail nail size of 40 pixels 80 pixels or 190 pixels the cover photo thumbnail size in pix uh, pixels 300 pixels or 600 pixels you can also add a new size at any time but remember when you are creating a membership site this is uh, data that's being put on your website and the image quality and this is out of 100 so 60 is good image upload upload maximum width in pixels is a thousand and a cover photo maximum width is if that is 1000 then this will be 2000 and I am just going to save the changes and you can make them any sizes you would like you do have to remember though that this is what will be as data on your membership website so it will be taking up space on your website on your hosting and your server And then when you're done and you have all of your changes saved, you can then go to access.
here, uh, excuse me, here you will find a choice, global site access, and if you click on the circle with the question mark, globally control the access of your site, you can have separate restrict options per post page by editing the desired item. So, do you want your site accessible to everyone? Or, do you want your site accessible to logged in users only? Let's go accessible to everyone. A restricted access a message. This is a message shown to users that you do not have permission to view this content. So I would just say Now here you can allow Gutenberg blocks restriction options. Restricted access. Now restricted access means that members will have access to the post, to the page, and also to your media if you want to click on media. You can also have it restricted to the category and tags and then save your changes. Other. And this is where you can enable the reset password limit. Password limit, and I'm going to put five times. Blocked email addresses. These are email addresses that are blocked that you would enter into here. And the uh, blacklist words. So this option lets you specify blacklist of words to prevent anyone from signing up with such a word as their username. So, I am just going to add one more. And then save changes. Email. And this is where you can activate your email for whatever it is for. For here, for here it says account welcome email. You can also activate an account activation email and to activate any email you would go into this gear here on the right hand side and you will see account activation email and then click here and then save your changes. And at any time you can go into the gear take out the check mark save your changes
go into the gear on the right hand side take out the check mark save your changes and an X will appear. That means that email will not be sent. Anything that has a check mark will be sent. Anything that has an X will not. And here is your admin email address. And the mail that appears from address and use HTML for emails. Yes. So save your changes. Appearance. Now I'm going to go into more detail on these in the second tutorial. Profile, which is in default template. And the version you would only get the default template. And you can see the profile I have here is a thousand pixels. Profile maximum width. So, sorry, that's profile maximum width is, is 1,000 pixels. Profile area medium width is 600 pixels. Profile field icons you can show with a label or show inside a text field. Uh, profile primary button text which is update your profile profile secondary button and you do not have to have one but you can have one if you check that then your profile secondary button text here it says cancel you can select a profile photo and here it tells you which makes the best photo, which is 300 by 300 pixels, uh, just by s clicking select. say I, col I collect I choose that one and then you have your alt text which I'm going to put admin and you can put whatever you want and then you put a caption, your description and then select your default cover photo so you can change your default cover photo globally here please make sure the default cover is large enough and respects the ratio you are using for cover photos. Okay, so say I did select this again. That's 300 by 300. That won't work. Okay, 
so the ratio I have is 50%. So I'm just going to upload a file. Okay, so now this tells me that it's 1280 by 720. So my alt text is going to be Welcome, and you have arrived. The There we go. Okay. Profile header meta text icon. So this will display field icons for related user and meta fields in header or not. And I'm just going to click yes. Show display name. Show social links, yes. Show user description, yes. Enable HTML support, yes. User description, 180. I'm going to change that to 250. And the profile header menu position is the bottom of the icon. You can also put it on the left of the icon. Show a custom message if profile is empty. Show the emoticon. And that's a sad face. And then save changes. Now I'm going to go more into detail in the second tutorial, but here we have a profile menu. Enable profile menu, the about tab, who can see the tab, and that will be your choice, anyone or guests only, members only, only the owner and specific roles. So. Who can see post tabs? Anyone. Comments tabs. Who can see comments tabs? Anyone. Profile menu default tab. And then enable menu icons in desktop view. The registration form. And here it is default template, so you only have one template. Your registra registration's maximum width, they want 450 pixels. Registration short code alignment is centered. You have a choice, show with label or show text inside. Registration primary button text, register. Registration secondary button, click if you want to. If not, you can take it out. And here, you just click in there, and then you put your the URL of where you want your person to go, and what is the description.
that you choose. And then the registration default role. Okay, so it's going to be subscriber. Save the changes. And then you have the sorry, you have the login form. And here you have a default template, your maximum width, centered, show with label, login, and also if you have a login secondary button or register, login set secondary button, show the URL that's there, login forgot password link, and show our uh, show remember me and then you save your changes okay so miscellaneous and this is some code for you to see. You can show an asterisk for required fields. So click yes, then what do you want? You want display name, site name, user profile, a, a, a dynamic meta description. And anytime you can click on the circle with the question and this will be used in the meta description that is available for search engines. And this is important for your members to understand that this will be available for search engines. <coughs> Excuse me. Disable uh, cache user profile? No. Enable Gutenberg blocks. Now you check this box if you would like to use ultimate member blocks in the Gute Gutenberg editor and I am going to click that and then you just check your version and make sure that you have the up-to-date version and do you want to remove data on on uninstall and I'm just gonna save the changes And then, of course, you have your install information that you can download at any time. Now, the next place you would go is to Appearance, underneath Marketplace. And you would go to your Menus. Here you will see all of the pages that have been created. You are going to create a menu. So you would just click create the menu title. and then you would just add all of your pages. See where it says UM Ultimate Member. You would add all of these pages for your menu. So you would just click Add to your menu. then you can change your pages the way that you want them so let's see the password reset account and then probably login members user and register on top okay 
and also if you click in each page you will see here it says who can see the menu link so do you want everyone to see the registered link yes but your choice is logged out or logged in users if you choose logged in users you will see that you can select all other member roles that you would allow people to see this navigation label. If you choose everyone, then you don't need to do anything. Password reset, everyone, so don't need to do anything. Account, okay, so the account you don't want everyone you want to have the logged in users and then you would select the different users that have already been created by the ultimate member okay and then close that and then of course log in and members. Okay, so without me going through all of these and then you just save the menu Now you also decide where do you want your display to be. Your primary, I'm just going to click primary, footer, and save. Okay, now a little bit of maintenance here. You would go to settings, to general because you have to make sure that people can actually register for your site. So this is called News from Zoo. Okay, and here where it says membership, anyone can me uh, can register, and then new user default role, and here you have a choice, and you would choose subscriber, your site language, and here are the different languages here. As you can see, here is the Google Translate. Uh, your time zone, the date, and everything else here is okay. And let's just save the changes. And that little bit of maintenance is done. There's one more thing that you do have to do. You have to go back into settings and you have to go into permalinks. And permalinks are important, especially with the ultimate member. So you want to make sure that you have the post name clicked. And also you can add your category base. and then save the changes. Your category, your tag base. Save the changes. Now the next 
video that's coming up, I am going to be talking about the ultimate member, but I will be going into the forms and the user roles, the member di uh, directories, and a few other very important uh, options and features that are available. So I hope this has been helpful to you and I look forward to any questions that you have. If I can answer them, I will. And uh, look forward to the next tutorial that I have which will be more in detail on the Ultimate Member plugin. If you found this video useful, then please like this video by clicking on the thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed and you would like to see the next video that is coming out in the next couple of days, which in which I will go into detail about the ultimate member installation and all of the other features and options, then please subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to being able to help you to grow your online business. Have yourself a wonderful evening.